Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So our today's video will be more related to Power Automate Administration where I'll be creating one flow and that flow would actually list down all the flows within a certain period of times, probably like last week or uh, even last day from the perspective of Power Automate Administrator where like he or she would like to have the summary of all the flows which are created within, within all the environments and by whom. So probably this report uh, could be helpful while uh, figuring out like who is creating more flows within your environment and what environments are more active in comparison to other environments and who the person is creating those flows so that this can actually help into the adoption of flow what has been recently recent features which is being rolled out in power automate you can directly like uh, educate those users who are like more uh, creating flows or more working with the your power automate environment so let's jump to that flow i'll just start creating one flow and as I said, because we wish to have the report from past last seven days or uh, probably just a single day report where like every day I'll just get one notification where that will list down all the flows which are created in last one day. So that's why I'm going to use scheduled cloud flow and I'm going to know, uh, name that as uh, notify admin for all the flows in last one day or you can say like all flows daily because I wish to run this flow on the daily basis. So let's keep that as a repeating period as daily. And now as we get into the flow, so in next step, I'm going to initialize one variable as, as I said, like I'll be listing down all the flows from all the environments. So for capturing that information, I have to have one uh, array variable. So I'll just initialize that variable initialize variable and variable type I'll just choose as array and I'll name that as where flows and it will capture it will save my flows detail and in next step as I said because I am going to be the Plapar platform administrator so I'm going to use I'm going to actually iterate through all my environments so for that I have to go to power platform for admin category and where like I'll just click on this power platform not for apps it's power platform I need to again retype power platform for admins yeah this one so it will give me action where I can just pick all my environments so list environment as admin so this actually would give me all the environments which are there in my current setup so in next step, I need to fetch all my flows as admin. So I'll use Power Automate Management Management category. Where is that Power Automate Management? And over here, I'll use list list flows as admin. Here we go. So this actually would ask for environment and this environment because as we iterated as we got all my environment as admin from power platform actions so now i'll just bind this environment from my this previous action and i'll just enter a custom value and pick the <coughs> name of the environment from my previous tab name and i'll just select this name automatically it bind that to apply to each because we have multiple environments and now I'll just if you wish to restrict your this uh, number of flows returned then you can just say top count otherwise like if your environment is having like uh, multiple flows you have to like uh, do the page uh, paging for that so I'll just go to the setting and I'll just say pagination and threshold limit let's keep it as 200 so in one page I'll get 200 and uh, I'll get multiple pages if my flows numbers are more so just remember to set this pagination otherwise you will be stuck getting your top 20 or 30 items only so just be cautious about that so once we have this uh, this flows as the admin listed in the next step i'll be actually creating or filling that information of flow into my variable so i'll just say append to variable and in this I'll just choose my variable as where flow and now I'm going to set this variable because as I said like I'll be creating one HTML table so I have to specify the 
columns for that HTML table. So I'll just use environment and I can choose the environment uh, from my this dynamic list where I will say environment display name because otherwise the name would be just GUID so I would not be able to figure out that why what my environment name is so that's why I'm going to choose the environment display name and flow display name and now again like I'll be just binding that to my flow display name and you use must have just seen that it binded that to apply to each because we have that multiple flows automatically so need not to worry about this apply to each so now we have this and now I'll just use flow owner so in this owner I can just bind the created flow created by person or flow created user I believe yeah creator user ID so I'll just use this creator user ID so this ID actually will be the object ID if I wish to uh, specify the display name of that creator I have to like use this I have to actually before that convert this as a display name from the get profile action so I'll just use get user from office 365 get user profile and over here I just pass I will just actually drag this apply to each down and before that I will just use this flow created by user ID so that in return I can get the actual user and instead of using this creator user ID I can use the output of my this create user profile as in dynamic content so I'll just say uh, email or email would be fine so I'll just it's, it's pasted at wrong place now I'll just select that now I have this valid JSON so now we are good I am going to just save it so that we can have a test run so right now we have just we have just done we got everything in place but the only check which has to be done is like I because by this uh, logic flow I would be getting all my flows but I don't wish to have all my flows I am just I just want to have uh, those flows only which are created within last two days or seven days like based on your requirement so for that I'll be actually creating one if condition and place this entire apply to each logic within that if condition and that if condition would decide whether that that should write to my uh, that HTML or not so over here I can just minimize these two actions and create have one action that would be condition and this condition I'll actually move at top I'll just minimize that move the other stuff down so that my condition can be at top and this condition when this condition is met then only this append to variable action should happen so I'll just move this into the if part of my condition so right now I've not put anything into if condition so now we are going to write so how how to compare like if I wish to just get the records which are other flows which are just created in past one day what I'm going to do I'm going to use from dynamic content the flow creation date creation time and I'll just copy this one close this and go to expression because the comparison I have to do into text so I'm going to paste this creation date and remove this at the date so that it can be a valid expression just going to click OK so now text from this created date of that flow is greater than that means like if is greater than yesterday's date or like past two days that expression we are going to put then only this if statement should be executed so now in comparison value I'll be using expression again so I'll use U to see now so that is today's date and I will again use add days in add days I'll just paste this UTC now which is current date and 
what I would be adding. So let's say like I just need to have the records just past one day. If you wish to have weekly record, then just put minus seven. So minus one day, that means like uh, the the condition would check created time date would be actually greater than this date. So if the if this condition is true, then only the flow uh, variable would be appended. Otherwise not. And of, of course, like we have to convert this entire date into ticks. So I'll just put ticks and close that basis. So now the comparison would be good. So if the ticks are greater than my past one day ticks, then only it is going to list or create this variable append to this variable. So now we are done with this condition. Now in next step, I'll just minimize this if condition. And in the next step, I have to create HTML so that I can write that HTML to email notification. So I'll use data operation compose. So let me just type in compose data operation create HTML table. So I'm going to create the HTML table from the array which we have created and I'll just have these columns created as automatic. So this will create the HTML table. Now we are good. And now finally we have to notify our administrator about this flow list. It'll give us send a summary notification to our administrator. So for the sake of right now, I just can keep myself and I'll just say my flows daily report. And this daily report would be having the output of my previous tab HTML into the this body. So I'm just going to save this flow and we'll do a test run just to see. And the expectation is like it should list the flows which are created within past one day. And I, I'm going to just run it manually and test it. Run a flow done so this may take a while so generally like it takes uh, depends on the number of flows and number of environments so just one correction so we have placed this uh, create HTML and send email in within that apply to each loop I did not realize that so I have to actually move them to a new step so let me paste copy and paste and the same stuff for email, I would be just copying it, copying to clipboard and then paste outside of that for each loop and we'll delete the actions from this apply to each. So that was by mistake, which actually we binded that the send email and HTML into the same apply to each loop. So it will keep on sending the email within that apply to for your all environments. So, but we want a summary email. So that's why we just move them. So now I'm just saving and then running it. So it ran successfully and we should be getting one email. So I'll just open my Outlook and just to have a look. So there's the latest report which I got and this is having three flows which are created in last 24 hours or last one day. So it's related to the one is like we just created and these are just two which we, I created just uh, in past day. And if you wish to like uh, fetch the flow list like which are for past seven days, then you just need to modify your flow and just need to go to apply to each. And over here, like in apply to each second, you have to change the condition for time takes. You have to specify only for example like last two days you can just update this minus two integer and then just save and do a test run so it will give you the report which are lasting for the past two days or the flows which are created within past two days so that's how you can decide like uh, what different frequency you wish to have your flow to trigger like weekly summary or daily summary or bi-weekly so based on your actually requirement you can decide over but it's it's kind of very useful for administrator just to get one summary report that what uh, different users are being created that the flows are being created by whom so that would be a quick summary for power administrators
So probably like uh, it could be useful if you are Power Automate administrator and wish to have that summary report. And if you have any questions, do drop the comments. And as well as if you like the video, please uh, press that like button and also subscribe to my channel. So that's it for today. Thank you.